Welcome to this, uh, well, slightly shorter part two of this vlog, but as we are actually leaving Marbella tomorrow, I figured we have to show you how everything's going in the garage. Because when it comes to houses, you are never ever fully finished. But I feel like we're finished enough to where we can actually show you guys what this thing has transformed into. You ready? Well, first of all, new, very nice key. Super important. Ready? Ready. <laughs> <laughs> no way she No, he's back, sorry. He is back. <laughs> Mr. Leon is back in here, but Leon, you've seen before. But all of this. Look at this place. I don't I, even know where to start. I want to start by saying yeah. thank you to my brother Hans and Bauhaus for coming up with the idea of uh, supporting us with making the ultimate dream garage. And I think we can honestly say that I don't know what more I would wish for. And then, of course, we, have, we, we actually got the car down here. It took a long... I, I saw comments that were like, what, what happened with the R6? Is it gone? But it, uh, after it was stolen, it just took forever to get the little things that were um, damaged, which was, you know, tiny, tiny things. But it was stuck at the police station, I think, for three months because there was such a big investigation around it. But now it's finally back. We're not going to drive it to Monaco because we're going up to Stockholm because I want to make sure that my parents get to see Leon before he's like three years old. So we're gonna fly up and then this thing's gonna go on a transport and meet us in Monaco. So oh. may maybe not the best timing, but at least we have got the at have it in the shoot. It, yeah. And it looks wonderful. I mean, I only saw this thing for, you know, 45 minutes. Yeah. So it, uh, I mean, oh. Oh. it is fantastic. It is insane. Yeah, when I saw it come here, I'm like, and the sound. Cool. But okay. yeah, let, let's go through this here. What do we have here? We have everything you could possibly ever need in a garage. I mean, here, the tank tools. If you've ever been in a professional car garage, you've seen these things. And normally I've been afraid to touch them because I would misplace things and people get angry. But we have a, a lot of the things up here, but you also have, like, it's literally every tool. Like, it just... She likes building. Now we never ever have any excuses to, like, there's quite a few tools, so I'm gonna have to do some. Uh, what is this? <laughs> do you know? No, like, uh, that's. Oh, okay, it's like a. I'm not could quite. Be a weapon? <laughs> weapon. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's good. Now we know that we have every single thing that we can need. I love garages. Yeah, yes. me too. I've always, I've like, I've had houses, but I've never had a proper garage. And then we, we had to put a little artwork on the wall. So uh, thanks to Oscar Bakke, we went through and looked at the uh, best photos we have from, uh, from over the years of Gumball and like... And then, uh, I mean, of course, we need a, a coffee machine, and it matched so well that we had to, we had to bring it up here. Nice black sink, and then uh, just some, you know, general storage. Of course, you need a TV in a proper dream garage. Look how sleek this one is. Yep. We would have turned it on, but uh, we haven't had time to connect the power, so that's all gonna get done once we, uh, once we leave. Okay. But yeah, you have like all the tools that you used mostly here. I like this. Oof. Because uh, here you can set, because if you've ever had uh, center lock wheels on a car, you know that you have to pull them at a certain strength. So here you ah, can set it. Okay. So I like this thing. Maybe we should actually, well, well should kill we, yeah. two birds with one stone and... Uh, uh, wait, I need to go, oh, so it doesn't explode the mic. No, it's not that bad. Yes. <laughs> Oh, 
That is insane. That does sound good. Well, you know, when the car has been at Stuckman, you know it's gonna be extreme. Oh. Da -da -da -da. Like, literally everything. That being from Ryoba, you have, the great thing with this is that you have the same battery for all of them. So you have this six charger, which means that, you know, normally when you wanna use a power tool and you run out of batteries, but when you have one big one, it means that like you have them all charged, which I love. And then apparently my brother thinks I'm, I'm poor at measuring. Cause he, he sent me a lot of measurements, <laughs> like a lot of them. But here, like, I mean, this we've used a lot already, the vacuum cleaner. Um, Every single thing. Like, where is that thing? Maxi here. torch. Like this thing uh, oh, is the yeah, uh, insect yeah. repellent. Mm -hmm. Super flashlight. I mean, it's this thing you can see. Already like this, we used to put up all the, the paint things on the walls. Insane, the speaker. I mean, yeah, I mean, you have every single thing you could ever think of. I'm trying to think, there's one more. Ah, what? oh yeah, here it is. Ah, that's the one. This thing's been a lifesaver. When our AC broke this summer, this was, I'm like, ah, I have a, a fan. Fantastic. But yeah, I mean, you have every accessory to all the machines. You've got it all. Another uh, charger. Ah, car charger. Put it in Leo. Exactly. <laughs> And then uh, screws, bits and pieces. That is proper, proper. You know, it's just so nice. And now the key is that I'm, I have to keep it like this so it's fully organized the whole time. And then, well, when I said every tool, I meant every tool in the world. Electric chainsaw, <gasps> electric branch cutter. Uh, Same? I think you're Oh, that's the extendable to, uh, one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, the floor. This I want to give to every um, gardener in the area. You don't have to brrr. We can go up and cut Richard's uh, hedge. Can people guess what this is? It's like an outdoor vacuumer. So if you have a bunch of leaves and stuff on the ground, and I've actually, it works fantastically. Is it also on battery? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the battery there. Yeah, yeah, of course. So no sound. Ah, there's, we have, we have an extra battery. Let me just go plug that back in. And then, uh, what do we have here? We have a, like uh, a vacuum industry pocket. vacuum. Yeah, like big boy. And then up there, there's a couple more. Yeah, that's for the extender for this, okay. this guy here. I don't know how many times I wanted to cut, like, you know, if you make a frame and you want to cut it nice 45 degrees, yeah. you never get it 45 degrees, but here you can set it and everything. This, I, I really want to mount that uh, on the bench over there. Which one is this? Grind oh. down, like, yeah, whenever yeah. things don't fit the way they should. And here, piano ball, ball, vroom, vroom, like Leon would say, which is fantastic. So you can actually drill straight to spray uh, fertilizer. Ah. So, oh, uh, but uh, how insane is that? Even this is electric. Yeah, that's the fantastic system. Like the that's system is incredible. And then two boxes there. Um, like if you want to bring some of the stuff to say the boat or, or whatnot. And then I managed to replace our ugly white Boxes that we had, super ugly hater, but now they're all nice and black and they're perfectly organized with an alpha system. Organized. So all of this, like the, everything that is sort of organizing and hanging up is all alpha. Okay. And speaking of uh, this, these things here, when I said things are never fully finished, like we put these spotlights in and then I'm like, you know, they're, they're just not special enough. So then again, I called Buster and Punch. Look at this. So these are spotlights that's gonna go in the roof on a rail and I thought this was super cool with their burnt metal or burnt steel I think it's called because I mean on exhaust you know when you have the high temperature they look like this so I thought this fit really well in the garage because as with everything it comes with the details and also Ooh. so that still needs to be changed that needs to be changed and moved but like the the little final things they just make a big difference the sound is so satisfying I know it is right but yeah, so that's gonna come on. I mean, we have our basketball, and then we come to the important part of cleaning from character. You've seen me rock the, the one, yeah. K7. I saw, I saw Richard also at K7. Yeah? Yeah. 
But yeah, having like the proper proper cleaning setup is is very key because what's the point of a nice car if it's not a clean car? You know, that's kind of useless. But again, like having everything organized, like carpet cleaner, home cleaner, brush thing, and then we're missing a few things because Richard is like, hmm, nice garage. I'm gonna steal a couple things. <laughs> so he's got all the window ah, cleaning things. That's for the cars. Are. Yeah, I'm guessing you use uh, shoot shampoo. Okay. And then if you have a like, you know, there's garage gates and there's uh, garage gates actually. You see what that is? That was the garage gate that was installed here. But then I came and saw it and I'm like, that's not what I ordered. It, it needs to look beautiful on the inside because most garage gates, you know, they're hanging on these ugly rails. So that was installed and it was hanging there. And I was like, no. So after two days of sitting, I ripped it down and I put this one up. So this one rolls up in a, in a box here in the ceiling, keeping the ceiling fully free so that Normally, when it would be open, the ceiling would be much lower. So maybe I'm a little bit crazy, but I really think the details, you know, it's like with the buster and punch stuff, it's important to keep it. I agree with you. Perfected. And then, wait, can I forget this Oof. thing? You know, they say the man who has the biggest grill wins, and we're winning over Rickard. True. <laughs> I mean, look at this here. It's insane. The double grill. The broom king. Nice. You even have it. Broil King Imperial. That's a name. Yeah, I mean, here you like, you know, it's solid. And I, we're thinking about where to put it, but I kind of think that the balcony over by, um, by the kitchen is going to be the perfect spot for this. Because you know when you're grilling and you don't have enough space, that's really annoying. But now we have enough space. Do you even have a light? Ah, oh. sis. Yeah, 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 because okay. there's a cable. So I'm sure we're going to have to plug it in and give it a good try. Do you want to back it up? I'm, I'm going to put it back in so that it looks, it looks so good with it. We don't hear you! Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! Vroom, vroom! Is he gonna... Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So what do you think, Yanni? Do, do we, we get the thumbs up approval for the garage? Yes. You've even used a bunch of the tools. Yes. Yanni's been home handy, uh, handy girl. I guess that, that sums up the quick little part two of this vlog, but I figured we had to show it. And I hope it lived up to, uh, what do we call it? Uh, the dream garage. Yes. I think it, it uh, you know, I don't know what else we could put in there. Next step, we use all the tools to build a mini ramp. Absolutely. That's a good challenge, huh? Yeah. I mean, we have absolutely everything to make it. I mean, that's the thing. Like, once you have everything, you know that you can actually, well, you do more things because you know you don't have a limitation of uh, the tools you have. Yeah. So thank you, Hans. Thank you, Bauhaus. Thank you, everybody. You guys have absolutely made a, a dream of mine come true because now I finally have a, a dream garage. But now it is time to let her go to sleep. You hear the sound, it just, you know, you can tell that it's like proper yeah. quality. Especially. <gasps> and then. Uh-huh. That's satisfying. Super, super nice. So yeah, we gotta continue packing up. We're heading uh, to Stockholm tomorrow morning and we're gonna go say hello to grandma and grandpa. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and great grandma as well. A great grandma. <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the uh, Yacht Vacation series and the vlogs we've done over the summer. Benny was supposed to come for a... Uh, one week. One <laughs> week. <laughs> to life. And he hasn't left yet. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We've been no. so excited to have you here, Benny. Thank you. Benny is the best guest a uh, person can ever have. Thank you so much. Yes. So you, ever... you guys are the best host to say. Uh, we try to be. But I think we've had a good summer. We've been relaxed. We've, we've done quite a few vlogs, but since we didn't have a schedule, it didn't feel stressful. No, at all. So, hope you guys liked it. We'll see you real soon. Over and out. See you in From Monaco. the Olsen Denner family. Hey, hey, hello. Hello. Hello.
Qu'est-ce que c'est, c'est une casse à casse là 